This is Alim from Javelin with a video demonstrating an ingenious solution for dynamically bending and unbending a wire using SOLIDWORKS. The credits go to Rob Edwards who demonstrated this solution for the first time on the SOLIDWORKS forums during one of the weekly power user challenges. In effect, what I try to achieve is the ability of dynamically bending or unbending the wire as you can see on the screen. I'm using Instant 3D for that and I'm varying a sketch dimension. And you can see how right now this wire is fully straight. If I go back by uh, modifying the dimension to the original value, which should be close to zero, I'm having again the wire bent back. How do you get that to happen? In the previous video, I demonstrated a quick way to calculate and determine the neutral fiber of the wire. And I have that inside the 3D sketch. Next thing I did was just to create a simple sketch containing just a line with a dimension. The scope here is to have the dimension that I can vary using Instant 3D. Next, on the neutral fiber, which is a spline, I uh, added a point and the point that is based on a reference geometry entity called reference point. As you know, if you select a spline, you can move this point on the spline by changing this dimension. At this point, you cannot type an equation here. This is something that uh, hopefully we're going to see in a future version of SOLIDWORKS. Looks like a great enhancement. But you can type the equation manually. So dimension 1 defining the unbending point is going to be equal to the dimension of uh, the line in the driving sketch. Following that, I just added a plane passing through that point, so coincident to the point and perpendicular to the spline of the neutral fiber. And on that point I just created a sketch that is in effect a circle. I made it a little bit bigger uh, than the size of the profile. I made sure that the center of the circle is coincident to the point, to the reference point. And I'm using that for creating a surface, a planar surface. I'm going to use this for cutting the bent area of the wire. The reason I'm not using a plane here is because I'm going to have air, uh, situations where the plane is going to bisect um, the wire in multiple places. So a surface will ne focus the cutting effect only of, on the area of interest. Then I do the surface cut and you see that happening here. I always like to remove um, the uh, unnecessary entities from my feature tree so I just delete the planar surface at this point and I finish it up with adding the straight area that should be equal to whatever length I'm cutting so on the cut face I'm just running convert entities and I'm doing a normal extrude equal to the length of the line in the driving sketch and this is pretty much it if I'm changing let me go back to to Windows span. If I'm uh, changing this dimension, that's in effect what's happening. You can see as I'm going further and further on uh, on this dimension that the unbending happens, and same thing for bending back, coiling back on the neutral fiber. So thanks very much Rob Edwards for uh, sharing with us such a nice solution.